Well, at least this wasn't worse than the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. The power of pain compels you! Ow! Yeah, still not funny. Hey everyone, welcome to my review, my late review of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is the, well, sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife, but I guess de technically this is the fourth installment, but five, fifth theatrical release Ghostbusters movie. We're getting technical here. This movie is directed by Gil Keenan, not Jason Reitman like the last movie, and the movie stars the old school cast and the new school cast. You got McKenna Grace, Finn Wolfhard, Carrie Coon, uh, Paul Rudd, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, <clears throat> Ernie Hudson, yeah. And this is the old school cast, the new school cast, teaming together to stop this ancient artifact from destroying the world and causing a second ice age. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is basically fan service the movie. And man, are critics taking the biggest heaping pile of dog shit on this damn fucking movie. I, I just saw this movie the other day. I saw it way late. Dude. I could have... Uh, uh, I could have went to an early access. I was about to go to an early access, but I had to work, so, yeah. Um, but I saw a lot of clips and saw a lot of feedback. I got spoiled of how, how this movie ends, and so I knew everything going into this movie, but I had to see it for myself to see how bad it really was. And it's actually, it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. Um, very disappointed. I actually had a lot of hopes for this movie actually because i liked ghostbusters afterlife i thought it was a great like passing of the torch movie and i thought mckenna grace like stole that movie i thought she was great um and i thought it was funny and it was a lot of good nods to the og ghostbusters and it was a, like a nice like send off to harold ramus and i liked it. It, it it's my second favorite ghostbusters movie this is definitely the second worst Ghostbusters movie out of the five we've gotten. Which is sad because I wanted to love this movie. I want, like, this, is a, this is a new Ghostbusters movie. I should be excited. But I really was super underwhelmed. And it's not the cast's fault. Everyone tries their very best. And no one is giving a bad performance. I really think it's just the script. I think the script is so dodgy. It's so forced. The jokes don't really, like, aren't that funny. You know, the actors are trying super hard to make these jokes funny. Uh, it's just they're, they're not that funny. Like, the 2016 Ghostbusters was almost the opposite. I felt like the writing for that movie tried to be funny, but those actresses were just so unfunny, they made everything cringy. This one, I feel like the Ghostbusters, well, the Ghostbusters are actors were trying to make a pretty unfunny script funny. Some of it works. Some of it does. Some of it, a lot of it doesn't, though. The plot is rushed. There's just so many nods to the other Ghostbusters, and some of it's great, and I loved it. I'm like, I love these Easter eggs. I love it. I love how it's all combining the first two and Afterlife together. Then it gets too much, and I'm like, okay, okay, stop right there. Can you give us some originality at least? Like, come on now. And there's too many things going on, too many plots going on, too many characters, and it gets overly stuffed, overly bloated, and just, by the end of the movie, it it's just messy, and it's just not as exciting as you would think it would be. Visually, it's good, there's some good action, there's some good, like, you know, cool badass moments. It's just underwhelming, though. It's just, it could have been so much more. Kind of like Ghost, um, <laughs> slurring my words here. It's like Ghostbusters 2. I feel like this is like the like a Ghostbusters 2. Like Ghostbusters 2 had so much potential and could have been so amazing. And it just ended up being kind of average. And this is what this movie is. After the follow-up of Afterlife, I was expecting a great sequel. And it was just very average. Very mediocre. I actually liked Ghostbusters 2 more than this. Which is something I would, was not expecting. And I don't like saying that. Because I think Ghostbusters 2, as funny as it can be, is a little boring sometimes. <laughs> like, the OG Ghostbusters is always going to be the best Ghostbusters. And I, I, I was shocked how great Afterlife was. But, like, I don't know. Like, 
We deserved a better Ghostbusters than this. I don't. Maybe Jason Reitman should have came back. Maybe they should just done a couple more rewrites on the script and just I don't know. They should have cut a lot of things out. I think they should have focused more on the new cast because I know as much as I love the OG cast, but that that was the point of Afterlife to pass the torch, and they were just so focused on focusing on every character and every character to get their screen time. It just it was so jumbled and, and I don't know, it just didn't work and it was kind of sad to watch i wanted to like it so badly and just i'm like after i watched it i'm like i can see what the critics were saying and i don't like to always agree with the critics but i can see what they were talking about how it's a mess of a movie and that's just what it is it's a mess sadly on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give ghostbusters frozen empire six out of ten it's not bad it's not bad it's not a shit movie it's just very average just very forgettable and just so jumbled and so much fan service and so much crap thrown in it it just needed to focus more on like one consistent story and actually have a real main character and just less fan service more new original storytelling and funnier jokes <laughs> so yeah ghostbusters frozen empire definitely the second worst to ghostbusters movie so let me know in the comments below uh were you a fan of this ghostbusters movie and where does it rank in your five ghostbusters movie ranking give me your rankings of all the ghostbusters uh let me know comment below let me know and as always if you like this video please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side